The coronavirus is here and still increasing in prevalence and will have an impact on the health system for weeks and months to come. G'day, I'm Brad Williams from Williams OT Driver Assessments and Rehab with an important video. The Williams OT Driver Assessment and Rehab team is here to assist the wider community through this time and will remain open. Plans have been put in place for the continuity of client care and a number of scenarios have been planned for in case the federal, state or health department directs directives which may close us down in the coming weeks or months. Driving may take a holiday if we get quarantined, but until then we need to access shops, family members and continue with the essential aspects of driving. Until then, we have you covered. The good news is, is that people who attend our clinic do so because they want to drive, not because they are sick. Current advice is that the risk of transmission of the coronavirus is small when receiving occupational therapy services and driving instruction, providing all clients and staff follow the right guidelines. We all have a role to play here. We understand that some may be anxious about attending sessions and appointments, so I thought I would answer some of those questions you may have in this video. One of those questions is, what have we done and are continuing, continuing to do to combat the virus and keep staff and clients safe? I'll let you know that we have a large stockpile of hospital grade antiseptic wipes, alcohol based sanitizers, cleaning products and have put in place enhanced cleaning meshes to, and processes for the health and safety of everyone that visits Williams OT. I have advised my staff about their responsibilities, both at the clinic and away from the clinic, to remain healthy and to advise them that if they are in any way feeling unwell, to stay home. The virus is most effectively combated by hand washing with soap for 20 seconds and frequent cleaning of surfaces. So you should add this to your routine at home and around the community immediately. As we have always done so in our clinic and will continue to do so. The virus, as we understand it, is surrounded by a layer of flat fat and breaks down with soap and detergent and alcohol based solutions. If you are not sure if you should attend your treatment, this is what we ask you to do. We ask you to be upfront and honest about your travel history and potential exposure to ensure that all staff and other clients, especially our elderly and vulnerable clients, remain healthy. This does not mean you will be unable to attend your, your treatment or clinical session. It just means that everyone is aware of the, any precautions that may need to be taken, including sanitization. If you have traveled overseas in the past 14 days and you are exhibiting flu-like symptoms, you need to be assessed immediately for COVID-19. If you have just arrived back from overseas, you must self-quarantine for 14 days as is the current Australian government advice. If you have had no close contact with a person of COVID-19, do not attend your appointment. Please self-isolate for 14 days and seek further advice. If you do not meet these areas, current advice is that you are safe. At this time, person-to-person -person transmission in the community is not yet posing an issue but this could change rapidly, so keep updated with the current federal and state government advice. If you're feeling unwell in any way, please contact, contact us for advice about whether you should attend your appointment. If you have a fever, cough, excessive runny nose, shortness of breath, then you will be advised not to attend your appointment. What's next? Well, as we understand it, Australia is in a good position to handle the threat due to public hospital system, 
and because we have had more time to prepare and, well, prepare compared to other countries. We're also an island continent with fewer people transitioning between countries. There is a risk, depending on the spread of the virus, that health systems will become pushed to capacity, meaning elective surgeries and non-essential medical care in both the private and hospital sector will be put on the back burner for a while. There is also a chance that there will be directives from schools, public places and businesses to close for a period of time. And people instructed to remain indoors at home um, should there be a risk of a larger outbreak. Listen carefully to the advice of the state and federal authorities and do so as they say. The business, Williams OT, has plans for the next step of your client care should these circumstances arise. In conclusion, we will continue to keep you informed during these uncertain times. I ask you to visit www.williamsot.com for updated advice through this period. I'm not a predictor of what will come next, nor am I a medical doctor. So I, I am heeding the advice of the experts on what needs to be done to be the most helpful at this time. All of what I've said up to this point is based around the advice of the experts. I ask you to listen and act upon their advice too. Please ask our staff any questions that you may have about coronavirus, including ways to keep you and your family healthy through the upcoming months, but also how we are keeping healthy through these upcoming months. If you do attend, please don't steal our toilet paper or wipes or anything else like that. What we do ask is that you follow the advice of the occupational therapist or driving instructor in regards to hand sanitization and the sharing of germs. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below or contact the clinic. I'm signing off at the moment. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Brad Williams and I'm the Director and CEO of Williams Occupational Therapy and again I thank you for listening.